beautiful choreography. It's the eye imagery being repeated, moving at the focal length in and out, pushing and pulling as he pushes and pulls the sword. Mind blowing. We're continuing our cinematic series with Warframe, official cinematic opening trailer. This video was chosen by our Dragoon tier member, Thomas Toft. If you too want to choose a video for me to react to, click that join button, become a Dragoon. Warframe fans, help me out with this one. For generations you've slept. Some voiceover, okay. Love it. No purpose. No I like the sound design. To wake you. Beautiful transition. Wow. Yeah, that was expertly done. What an expression. Wow, it's like being born again. She wakes up. Really awesome. It's like this this quiet sound design, this safe environment underwater, and she comes up into this horrible place. Wow. Grenier. What? A, Seeds what from an the atmosphere. Ruins of the old war. Swallowing colonies whole. Oh, that's terrifying. Yeah. But there's still hope. I like that the, the warm colors come in as we talk about hope, as opposed to that kind of alien, otherworldly. Ooh, beautiful shot. Really showing off the set piece. The Tenno. Monuments of an ancient warrior caste. Oh. Nice lore here. Scattered across frail worlds. What a beautiful effect. Oh, are they... Nice long lines here. Oh, that was a good transition between the statue and then this guy. She's like calling for help here. That was awesome. I love that. I love that it's subjective, the camera. There's a little bit of movement in there, a little bit of humanity. Oh, wow. Following the action with the camera. He's just an expert killer. No hesitation. Flowing movements. Oh my god, that was such a good shot. Rotating the camera to stick with his axis. So smart. Really smart there to cut the music as well so you can hear that just devastation. Yeah. Ah, oh, and they went back to the statue. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful transitions from the beginning to the end here. Everything's connected. Connected imagery. It's a juicy trail too. It's not over. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is great. Really unique powers and imagery here that you don't typically see in sci-fi. It's quite original. Is that actually their bodies? That's so cool. They were kind of passed off as statues. Yeah, I think it's actually their uniforms. We're having this go between different locations and times. Showing off each warrior's skills, right? These are the warriors that you can play. That shot was unbelievable. So much kind of camera axis shift. Oh, beautiful choreography. Moving the focal length with each sword strike in and out tighter and longer back and forth this is amazing I don't know how I missed this what a shot is continuous yeah that was that was awesome so 
so good. Together, they fought back. So well done. I'm I'm Bring very impressed. An end to an empire. Incredible, Zimbabwe. Then they left. Ooh, I'm getting stormlight. Stormlight archive feels from this. And then they left. Forgotten. And there's the enemy. Is the character from the intro? Like a dream. Back to the eye. We're going back in. Clean transitions throughout. Everything's connected. Visually. The clear language. Clear visual language. That looks like the eye again. Mimicking it. Amazing. Wake up, Tenno. They're coming back, aren't they? Man, how did I miss that? I don't know how I didn't see this. It's so good. There's so much to talk about. Uh, incredible imagery kind of uh, pattern to everything, how it moves, go inside the eye, and then there's a circular window, and we're going back in time, connected with the statue, with the eye. Everything flows. It's so well done. There's a lot to talk about. Make sure to subscribe here on YouTube if you enjoy our time together. Hop in our Discord. And, of course, if you want to choose your own video for me to react to, Click on the join button, become a Dragoon tier member. That's what we're doing here. I love the opening shot. Uh, it's very Final Fantasy VII, isn't it? We start out in the cosmos, and then we come out of the live stream. We come out to Aerith. This is a little bit different. We have this kind of like, you know, uh, uh, what's the word? Nebulous, nebula imagery, to wake which you. is kind of cool because that is actually what the human eye looks like. If you look at it under a, a telescope, it's incredible. And we come out into the human eye. And not only is it like a cool revelation that that's, that's actually what a human eye looks like, but also beautiful transition into the close. And it's eerie, right? The way she's floating the water, just completely motionless. Looks like it looks like she's died, right? Then she comes to almost like being born. I love this shot. I think we're as HD as we can get here. Uh, I love this shot. It's really, really beautiful. And what I like about it is there's a tranquility to it. It's clearly a stress situation. You know, she's struggling to breathe, has to get to the surface. But there's a peacefulness down there. It's almost like, you know, you can uh, you can just let go. You can be down there away from the battle. But she's going to go up. She's going to go up. And we have this just brutal uh, looking battleground. Clearly she was, you know, hit or something, thrown on the ground. And uh, I really like the colors throughout the entire trailer. Really great performance here too. Really good performance capture as well. Um, has Warframe uh, as a studio worked on stuff before this? Because man, I'm impressed. This is their first step. Yeah. Uh, what's up, Ninja Wolf? How you doing? I live in the city where Digital Extremes is. Oh, that's what you meant, Valdercorn. That's amazing. Yeah, thanks again for the sub. Uh, it's a rather old game that has been expanded upon. It's over 10 years old. It's come a long way. Okay, awesome. Free to play game that gets more and more added to. Okay, I get it. So it keeps getting more updates. Incredible. Yeah. Not to steal Warframe Thunder. Free to play and the way digital extremes have worked on it has moved from strength to strength. Beautiful. Yeah. Pre patch, pre expansion. I see. What's up, Knife here? Uh, came out there. Oh, uh, War One pre patch trailer. War Within, right? Awesome. Maybe we can do that later. Yeah, for sure. I saw uh, Akaria. I saw Akaria link that. I was curious about it. Okay. Seeds from the ruins of the old war. So I really like this. Again, we have this kind of like alien, you know, low light situation going on how we're with the uh, the eyes being obscured by shadow glowing in the dark. You know, it's classic like wolves in, in a forest when you see them through there. Yeah. That'd be fun. Says Akaria. Yeah, maybe we can do that. Maybe we'll cap off today with that. We'll see how it goes. Or maybe we'll just like throw it in in between your choice. I'm super game. Uh, I didn't get a chance to click on it, Akaria. Is it like, uh, how long of a video is it? It's good, good chunky video to check out. Um, and is it like just gameplay? Is there cinematics in there? Still yeah, I really like this. Hope. 
of course you see the expression on the face there's still hope and then we cut to it uh the warm colors here right like i said not the colors of fire and war and the kind of creepy yellows before now it's like a hope we have we have nature naturalistic color yeah now this is just well done lore i really like this shot it's a super clever establishing shot again what is it guys what are we looking at right let me go back a little bit look at the shot it's an eye it's the eye imagery being repeated again so we keep getting the circular imagery of the eye to me it's just fantastic storyboarding planning and uh beautiful visual language everything's tied together the tenno yeah this is cool too i like the fake out these clearly look, are meant to look like statues which i thought they were on the first it has a very old feeling to it monument. very like sagely monument feel to it and then as we go through Past. we realize these are actually them they've been like waiting to be activated or something right it's awesome very impressive Scattered stuff across frail worlds. yeah i also really like this transition once again worlds. once again a perfect transition cutting uh and we'll go to the exact frame where it happens so you guys can appreciate it i mean look at this right about there yeah so look at this the dog appears there exact hey girl how you doing love you so we have here what we call guys is a match cut a match cut we're cutting similar shapes exact framing exact composition and it's very intentional and we have this awesome imagery which is to say um oh cool that's how they were back then but what we know from it is it's not actually like a monument dedicated to them it's actually them right so i think that's fantastic the void looks like that nebula awesome i was foreshadowing how the character's identity uh, as a tenno or one's children oh of course so the main character that we see in the water asakine right i love that did i miss anything from thomas just want to see so no thomas chose this one is it rather well oh, that's right you were talking about warframe awesome yeah loving it thomas great choice really good fit for the channel too thank you yeah i love this kind of um skip a little bit there is a yeah i really like this section so we have subjective feel with the camera through most of this and you'll see there's a little bit of camera shake there um in the way it feels like a person is holding the camera that's what i mean when i say subjective okay it's got a little bit of that um you'll see here too really clean choreography i love it um i also like how i like how the choreography is grounded um you'll see in a lot of stuff that we enjoy kind of like anime style choreography people are just like flying all over the place they're slicing at a million miles a minute you can't really see all the moves or rather not moves that humans could do normally um i like that these are still like kind of like super soldier looking like cyborg some sort of clearly boosted people right they're not just like normal people with normal tools um but everything's very plausible it's okay he threw that with extreme accuracy but he threw it you know he threw it like a normal human would he didn't just go like and it went like 20 miles you know um so i really like that uh i love the feeling where it looks like i was standing next to the guy i looked down at the ground and then i look up the camera is very natural i love the moment of tension there too where he goes oh, okay time to move i'm discovered again very plausible the camera follows it in yeah clearly clearly performance capture with this amazing i love how the dog is running like interference for him the whole time too it's a really nice touch ah oh, such a clean shot i gotta see it one more time classic tracking shot here i really like how this flows i mean just look at that keeping the subject in the same exact place but the way we've rotated the axis, it's like the world is morphing around him. Isn't that so cool? And so it gives this really eerie feeling. But again, completely plausible. That part, not plausible. <laughs> Those first couple steps, though, yes. And this is great. Like I said, the sound design here. Sound design. Music cuts. They let you really take in that breath. That respite. <gasps> 
He's going to land. He's going to do it. And you get to hear the cool sounds too in that breath. Keep pushing back the pre patch launch for a while. So are they pushing it back like by the minute? What's going on here? Didn't come out with the game in the beginning. This gameplay would be up your alley. What kind of gameplay is it? Is it look like kind of action oriented like this or what? What's up, Sephiroth? Be lurking while doing some homework. Ah, awesome. It's great to have you here as always. We appreciate you. Weird suits actor usually wear from movies. Wondering more from movies. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Some form. There's been like evolutions of it over the years, but yeah. I would think it's very naturalistic movement. Yeah. Such a great transit. And then we come back. I love how there's like, there's kind of mini episodic feeling of this whole thing. There's many chapters to the video. It's six minutes, about every minute. We're going back and forth between this time frame and the past when these guys were up and fighting everybody, which is, is really cool. And we're always tied by these perfect transitions. Great. That's supposed to be seven. Uh, quite normal for them to push the pre-patch. Oh, really? Is that normal? Yeah. Push it an hour or two at a time. We're at 145. Okay. I see. So it seems to be a decent time for the stream. If you guys are just chilling, <laughs> waiting for this. Uh, push it back. Uh, Thomas says, Warframe is a game where you play as uh, you see in the trailer. Oh, the person you see in most parts, except gravity and physics kind of doesn't apply to them in a lot of different ways. I might have to try it out, man. If it's a free-to-play game, is it, uh, is it Steam, PS5? Where can we play it? But yeah, I love that. I love that in a piece like this, in a short piece like this, how you have the kind of slow revelation of what style it's going to be. Okay, we're going to be going back and forth. And also, wait a second. That's actually them. And it's the first time they show the close-up of the face. The other one was like the legs and stuff. And you start to realize, wait, they're in the same position. This is actually them. So cool. I mean, come on, just great shot that you hear the sound of the missile, then you see it in the mask. It's just like really cool concepts. I love the shadow depth of field there, the nice portraiture. Yeah, just beautifully done. This one is probably the shortest too, but I'm assuming again, this is like, these are the options you have to play as as classes in the game or something along the lines of that. I really like how they build tension with the shot. I love how they build tension. It's like, wait, wait, we don't cut. It's like, oh man, they're falling faster and faster. If this was real life, you're in trouble at this point, right? You're in trouble. So I think that's so cool uh, that they kind of emphasize that. It's on Switch as well? What does it look like? Because I remember somebody saying they were playing it on Switch, and I'm like, nah, surely. Can't be the same game I'm thinking of. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so give me an update here. Ben Starr is in the new Warframe expansion then, but is he like a character who was never voiced or is he a famous character who finally has a voice? What's the deal? Um, awesome. All right, let's keep going. Wow. Yeah. And then we're back to the same shot. Yeah. I love the cyclical nature of that. We're back to the same shot as she wipes it off. It's so cool. It's such a, uh, what's the word? It is such a tangible feeling. You, you can feel that. What it feels like to wipe dirt off of something old, you know? It's great. PC, Steam, PlayStation. I, oh, it's all over the place. Okay, awesome. So maybe we'll do PlayStation if we do it. I got a couple, I got a couple games I still want to try out on a stream sometime. Um, what is it? Uh... Star Rail. Still never did. Be fun. Just been busy. Alright, look at this. So these kind of like lotus flower imageries, I'm curious what that uh, what that might mean. Really nice shot here. I like how we start in sort of the macro here. We're actually cutting to the same spot on the ground where the plant has been placed. And I think that's such a fun transition. Then we go to this extreme slow motion like thousand frames per second or actually much more. Um, and then we cut to that. Yeah. Beautiful work. Crossplay. Awesome. Arthur. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Oh, brutal. I really want to see the shot. I think this is in fact a one -er, as we call it. Unbroken shot. Let's check it out. So where does it begin? Let's analyze it. 
We have a full rotation of the cameras. It's unbelievably hard to do. And they pull it off perfectly. This is a one shot. We're not cutting. Beautiful moving of the focal length in and out, pushing and pulling as he pushes and pulls the sword. And we're still in the one shot. Mind blowing. Yeah. Oh. Such incredible work, man. And it's unbroken, but it's also completely followable. And we get to change to the other powers, even and we punch in. Amazing work. It's still going. I mean, we, we got to be at like 30 seconds of unbroken shot at this point. With so many elements, you like can't even count. Obviously. Together, they fought back. And there it is. We finally cut. That was cool to have the subject move off the screen and then it cuts. What's up, Billion Cats? Uh, the Lotus Flower is not accidental. The in-game voice uh, mission via is called... Lo oh, that's so cool. The mission giver. Yeah, yeah. Peasant's Quest. Crossplay, Thomas. You can play with everyone in the community. Awesome. One sequence that showed pretty much all the enemy factions, too. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about the enemy faction. It's so smart, man. What a great showcase. And it's just well done. It's incredibly well done. And then we have this an end to an movement out. There's the eye imagery again. So smart. And this is where they... Then they left. This is where they sat down, right? Yep. They deactivated. It's great. And I love how we're also getting lore as we do it. Uh, as we go through it, kind of in reverse order. And it's so great. Forgotten. Amazing. And then right when the enemy is there, she's kind of accomplished her mission, which it looks like, what I like about this is it looks like she's kind of going to be rescued by these guys, but the truth is... Like a dream. And there we go. Back inside there. It's so good. Like the refraction, like a mirror inside a camera. Um, they have mirrorless cameras uh, nowadays, like the one I'm using here, but, you know, it bounces off the sensor of the camera you know, like your eyeball, and it's so cool that they use that effect. <laughs> I love it. And she's just gone. There's the eye again. They're like, what the heck is going on? I like that we get, we get a face to the enemy right there. Wake up, Tenno. Yep. Visceral. Wake up. Wake up. Amazing, guys. Amazing work. So yeah, I like how we, we tie it all back in. It's cyclical. It's beautifully done. I am so impressed. Thank you, Thomas, for that choice. Thomas says, also the enemy they're fighting in the sequence was the Orokin Empire. Then ending with one of the Orokin Empire slave factions, the Grenier. Very cool stuff. Yeah, I'm so impressed. I am so impressed. So shout out to Thomas. Uh, our first dragoon. That's Thomas's first choice as a dragoon. So thank you so much for supporting the channel. So glad I got to check it out. And uh, we're going to be moving on. Guys, if you're joining in and watching, you want to choose a video, become a Dragoon. Click the Join button um, on YouTube or become a Tier 2 sub on Twitch. They're the same thing. They're the same value. Um, great pick. That was a great fit for the channel. I will definitely be posting that um, as a solo video. So thank you. All right. We're going to go to the list now and see who's up next. I really enjoyed that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Um, next up, we have Kems. This is Kems' second choice. Uh, and this is Heart Steel Paranoia. Uh, 